going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931 201 9098 so we can help you make the switch today. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CMB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CMB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop Services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air. When you need us, we'll be there. Financial advisor Scott Beasley knows time spent with family is everything. As a founder of Beasley Wealth Management, his mission is to give clients the freedom to enjoy time with family without the burden of financial concerns. A local of Lawrenceburg, Scott deeply values building relationships with clients, ensuring they make informed decisions concerning asset management, tax planning, and retirement planning. Offering a free initial consultation, Beasley Wealth Management helps clients pursue their aspirations with confidence. Do you have a small farm, a big farm, or just critters in the backyard to feed? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to make the short drive down to A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee today. Owner and operator Jamie Ayers has you covered and will treat you right. That's A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee.
got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender, major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple, yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve, right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union, not for profit, for service. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. That's the time throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome everybody here to Tom Cruise Field, getting ready for some non-district action here in high school baseball on an absolutely gorgeous day in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. This afternoon's game features the Richland Raiders against the Wildcats of Lawrence County. A.J. Good here on the X Sports Network going to be bringing you uh, this afternoon's game. Let's take a look at the starting lineups here for both sides. Starting first with the visitors uh, from Giles County and the Richland Raiders coming in at 14-6 and six overall. Perfect 6-0 and oh within their district. Their head coach is Matthew Sakowitz. Leading off in center field will be Carter Edwards. Batting second at shortstop will be Jack Jackson. Batting third in right field will be Colton Trimble. Batting fourth, the designated hitter, Bryce Miller. Batting fifth, the second baseman, Jamison Andrews. Batting sixth, the first baseman, Will Shirley. Batting seventh, the left fielder, Gage Whip. Batting eighth, the third baseman, Bro Brady Brody, excuse me, King Cannon. And rounding up the lineup and catching will be Cam Drake. And on the mound for the Raiders tonight will be Brooks Bratton. Taking a look at the Wildcats' starting lineup, coming in at 10-9 overall, 1-4 within their district. Their head coach is Clint Wright. Leading off at shortstop will be Jack Emerson. Batting second in left field will be Alex Bedford. Batting third in center field will be Isaiah Bentley. Batting fourth in right field will be Truett Kidd. Batting fifth at first base will be T.J. Gobble. Batting sixth at third base will be Cole Schultz. Batting seventh, the designated hitter, Caden Short. Batting eighth, will be the catcher in Cutler Cope. Batting ninth will be the second baseman in Caden Smith. And the pitcher on the mound tonight will be Andrew Kitt. It's getting ready to get things going here from Tom Cruise Field. Again, an absolutely gorgeous day for some high school baseball. Carter Andrew, Andrews, Edwards, excuse me, center fielder to lead things off for the Raiders. First pitch, and that one is in there for strike one. I will say this, we got an umpire to let you know when you got a strike. 
Like to hear that. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss for strike two. Andrew Kidd, who has had a bit of a roller coaster season so far, trying to get back on the right track here against a very good Raider team. Here's the 0 2. That one misses away, a breaking ball in the dirt. Makes it ball one. One and two here to Edwards, a very experienced player. Very good leadoff hitter as well for the Raiders. Next pitch is a fouled off. Keeps a count of one and two. Edwards does have some power to the opposite side, and the majority of his hits, though, are either going to come up the middle or through that third and shortstop hole. Cole Schultz, the third baseman, guarding the line there, so the Wildcats are ready for that type of power. Here's a one-two. Breaking ball just misses away. Evens up the count of two balls and two strikes. Richland in the black tops, white pants. Lawrence County in the purple tops and white pants. Here's a 2-2. And the dirt and evens up the count here. He makes it full of three balls and two strikes. The full count offering from Kidd. Fastball in there for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. One gone here in the top of the first inning off the looking strikeout. Brings up Jack Jackson. Jackson, one of several freshmen in the lineup today for the Raiders. For a 14 and 6 team and perfect in their district, this is a good sign for a Raider team that looks like is going to be very good in the future. Currently, right now as well. First pitch from Kidd misses low and away for ball one. Here's a 1 up. Swing and a miss for strike one. Not much wind to speak of. The wind we do have is blowing to straight dead center field. Here's a 1 1. This is low and away for ball two. Comes a 2 1. Misses low and in for ball three. Jackson, the majority of his hits have come to the left side of the ballpark. Here's a 3 1 on the outside corner of fastball. Count goes full here, three balls and two strikes. Back to back hitters have gone to a full count here for Richland. And the full count offering. Ground ball. Sent foul down the left field line. The count will stay full. Temperatures in the mid to high 70s here. A picture perfect day for baseball. It's a full count offering. Curve ball, and that one is hooked foul down the left field line. The count will stay full. Only other sport this sounds great for is football. And believe it or not, Hale White, we are 19 Saturdays away from our first college football. <laughs> it's a full count offering. This is a hopper over to Jack Emerson at short, throws over to TJ Gobble in time, and we have got two gone here in the top of the first inning. It's going to bring up Colton Trimble, the right fielder. Two on, nobody out here in the top of the first inning. Trimble, one of three seniors in the lineup today here for the Raiders. Very good opposite field up the middle hitter. First pitch here from Kidd, breaking ball, and that one is in there for strike one. And the 0-1. Off the end of the bat, right to Caden Smith at second, and that one will end the inning. Three up, three down for Richland here in the top of the first inning. First at bat for the Wildcats coming up next here on the Exports Network.
Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and the look you deserve. If you're stuck, you're in luck. Call Tyler McDowell with in-service towing 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full-service towing and recovery services as well as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family-owned, family-operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit in-service specialties. This is the X Sports Network. And back at Tom Cruise Field as we go to the bottom of the first inning. No score here between Lawrence County and Richland. The freshman and Jack Emerson will lead things off here for the Wildcats against the sophomore pitcher in Brooks Bratton. First pitch from Bratton. Emerson squares around the bunt and fouls it back for strike one. Third baseman here for Richland. Which is King Cannon is playing a couple steps in on the grass. Everywhere else, pretty much normal all across the board. Here's the 0-1. Emerson's going to send this one over the shortstop's head. The second pitch he sees, he sends it in the left field for a base hit. Lead-off hitter aboard here for the Wildcats. Now brings up the left fielder in Alex Bedford. So good start to this one for Lawrence County. Bedford, team's leader in home runs, slugging percentage and batting average. And a really good doubleheader there against Tullahoma on Monday. Check on Emerson at first. The throw is not in time. Bedford's going to square around the bunt and check on Emerson and good pickoff move, just a hair laid on it. Bedford is second on the team in batting average, tied for first and on base percentage. It's five home runs and tied for the team lead in RBIs. Thank you to Hale White for the stat, stats right there. Next pitch, Emerson's going to take off. The throw is in time and they got him. One gone here in the bottom of the first inning. A very good throw there by their catcher, Drake the freshman. Another freshman doing big things here for Richland. Next pitch is in there for strike one. One and one the count here to Bedford. Next pitch. This is low for ball two. Middle infield playing towards the gaps here for Richland. Kind of shade, outfield was shaded a little bit the left center here against Bedford. And 2 1. Alex rips it up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit. Back to back singles here for the Wildcats. Now brings up Isaiah Bentley. Finley, the team leader in a batting average. Second on the team in home runs with three, and tied for the team lead in RBIs with 16. One on one out here in the bottom of the first. Check on Bedford. Good job over there. First to make that save for the Raiders. Will Shirley over there first, another freshman here. Next pitch in the dirt. Bedford's going to take off. No throw, and he's in there safely. 
So now a runner in scoring position here for Bentley. Team leader in batting average with runners in scoring position with 579. Very impressive. It's the 1 0. Swing and a miss for strike one. One and one the count here, the 3 0 hitter for the Wildcats. And the 1-1. One, one. Misses away for ball two. And the 2-1. And Bentley's going to foul that one away to even up the count here. Two balls and two strikes. Long look here from Brett. Here's a 2-2. Benley, a chopper here to third. King Cannon looks back. Befford throws over to first. Befford's going to take off for third. The throw is not in time. So now the first round of the game is now 90 feet away. It's a good job by Alex getting over there just a, in the nick of time. Two gone. The runner on third here in the bottom of the first. It's a close play, but Befford got in there just in time. Brings up Truett Kid. And 237 on the air, got a seven, second home run of the season on Monday at Tullahoma. It's also hitting 417 with runners in scoring position. First pitch here from Bratton. Breaking ball in there for strike one. In the 0-1. Misses away for Baldwin. Nick, next pitch here from Bratton. Swing and a miss on the changeup for strike two. Bratton now 14 pitches. Trying to get out of a jam. And the one, two. Kid, soft liner to second. A good pick over there. The throw over to first in time. And that one will end the inning. Each side strands, or the Wildcats strands a runner here at third in the bottom of the first. No scores. We go to the top of the second. That's next on the Exports Network. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gain Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize to meet every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring & More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com. This is the X Sports Network. And welcome back to Tom Cruise Field as we go. The top of the second, no score here between Richland and Lawrence County. 4-5-6 do up here for the Raiders. Bryce Miller, the senior and designated hitter to lead things off against Andrew Kidd. Kidd 
17 pitches in the first inning. No runs, no hits, no walks, no errors. A three up, three down inning. First pitch here to Miller. This is high for ball one. And the next pitch. Ground ball off of Miller's glove. Caden Smith charges in. That goes under his glove. And Miller will be safe at first base. So an infield single there. It's about the only way you can rule that after it deflected off a couple guys. First hit of the game for the Raiders. Now brings up Jamison Andrews, the second baseman. Andrews, a sophomore in this lineup. A lot of freshmen and sophomore here for Richland. One on nobody out in the top of the second. He's going to square around the bunt. Schultz and Gobble charging in. That one's in the dirt. And that's going to allow Miller to get the second. Runner in scoring position here for the Raiders. And the 1-0. He's going to take off for third. Cope's throw will not be in time. So Miller gets a third base on back-to-back -back pitches off of a wild pitch and a stolen base. Chance here for the sophomore to drive in the first run of the game. The 2-0. Ground ball sent foul. 2-1 the count. Here's a 2-1 on the inside corner for strike two. In the 2-2. Swing and a miss for strike three, and that's the first out of the inning. Second strikeout of the game here for Kidd. Forgot that he had a strikeout there with the first batter in the first inning. Now brings up Will Shirley, the first baseman. Another freshman in the lineup. First pitch, and that one is bunted, but foul down the right field line for strike one. Richland team certainly aggressive on the base paths. Wildcats are going to play with the infield in here. This one's a looping line drive, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Miller's going to score, and the Raiders now lead this one one to nothing. Good piece of hitting there by Shirley the freshman, and has put the Raiders on the board first. Bring up Gage with the left fielder. Another freshman. First pitch here from Kidd. And that one is fouled out of play for strike one. With mainly majority of his hits have come to left field or center. Neo one. Fouled out of play for strike two. Here's the 0-2. Runner takes off. That gets away from Cope, and he'll be in safely. Runner in scoring position again here for the Raiders. One and two the count. Runner on second base. A one, two. Ground ball. Sent over the Schultz at third. Looks back the runner. Throws over to first in time for the second out in the inning. And the runner will stay at second base. Good defense there by Cole Schultz. Two gone here in the top of the second inning. Brings up Brody Kincannon. One of three seniors in this lineup today for the Raiders. All three of their seniors in the lineup. First pitch from Kidd. Fouled straight back for strike one.
the 0-1. Sent down the left field line, but foul for strike two. Well, Richland crowd didn't agree with it, but was fouled by uh, half a foot, maybe. Well, if that's Angel Hernandez, he might think about calling that fair. The 0-2. Breaking ball misses high for ball one. One, two. This is high for ball two to even up the count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Deuces on the board here for the Raiders. That one's fouled back again. Three foul balls in this at bat for Kincannon. Here comes another 2-2. Hit high in the air. That one gets out of play near the parking lot. We've got four foul balls in this at bat. Two and two the count again. And the next pitch. In the dirt, get blocked by Cope. Count goes full. Kid now at 37 pitches through an inning and two-thirds. Full count offering. Breaking ball. Just misses in for ball four. Now the home plate umpire. I'm going to have a conversation here with Clint Wright. It's going to bring up Cam Drake, another freshman, the catcher here for the Raiders. So two on, two gone here in the top of the second inning. Kid trying to get out of a jam here. He's already given up one run. First pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. The 1 Swing and a miss for strike two. In the 0-2, this is high and in for ball one. In the 1-2, ground ball. And Clint Wright with the one-handed stab over there. Those are right back to Kidd. It's another one, two. Swing and a miss for strike three, and that one will end the inning. Raiders strike first here in the top of the second inning. Lead it one to nothing. Wildcats try to answer in the bottom half of the inning next on the Exports Network. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. 
family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg like today. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gaines Street, next to the courthouse. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you, as an employee, a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at Livingstone fs.com or give us a call at 931-269-3255. Oliver Wellness and Massage, located in Pulaski, Tennessee, is your premier spa for massage therapy, salt therapy, IV therapy, tanning, and much more. Stay relaxed, look your best, and feel good at Oliver Wellness, located at 1187 West College Street, Pulaski, Tennessee, or contact Haley at 931-309-0462 or schedule your appointment online at 931 931- Massage.com. This is the X Sports Network. And back in Tom Cruise Field as we go to the bottom of the second, Richland leading Lawrence County one to nothing. TJ Gobble will lead things off here for the Wildcats. In 263 on the year, 440 on base percentage. The team leader in walks with 12. At his first home run of the year on Monday at Tullahoma. First pitch here in the dirt for ball one. Back on the mound for his second inning of work, Brooks Bratton. First inning gave up two hits, no runs, no walks, no strikeouts. Now it's 16 pitches. The 1-0. This is away for ball two. The 2-0. Gobble sends this one in the left center field. Going back on it. That one's going to one-hop the wall. Gobble on his way to second base with a leadoff double. Put a charge into that one in the left center field. And the Wildcats in business here in the bottom of the second inning. First extra base hit for either side. Brings up the third baseman in Cole Schultz. Third on the team with 273 batting average. 308 with runners in scoring position. And try to drive in RBI number seven on the year. Gobble got a charge of that one into the power alley out there in left center. Didn't one hop the wall, two hop the wall, but you know, still hit the wall. First pitch here from Bratton. That one misses high for ball one. Here's a 1-0. This one's popped up high in the air, but out of play for strike one. One and one the count here, the six-hole hitter for the Wildcats. Here's a 1-1. This is away for ball two. Long stare there, Bratton, and Schultz finally calls timeout. Schultz does have a home run to his name this year in that epic thriller against Summertown here a couple Saturdays ago. And now checks on Gobble at second. Nobody was holding him on there, just to keep him honest. Schultz's shot went the left center field, and no doubter here. Not much one to speak of. What little we do have is blowing the straight dead center field. 
And 2-1. Schultz rips this one down the left field line, but that one goes foul. It's almost like he was listening to me or something. 2-2 two two the count now to Schultz. And the 2-2. Ground ball here to Short. Good play by Short. He's going to throw over to first. That one is in time. And Clint Wright is not happy about that. Scobble's going to stay at second base. For the time being, we've got one gone here. And Schultz certainly hustled down the line. For those who are watching our games last night with Arlington between Summertown and actually just the Arlington-Loretta game. I'll just put it this way. Neither side was certainly happy with that main umpire out there in the field. So one gone here with runner on second. Bring up Caden Short. Getting the spot at the designated hitter spot. One gone here. First pitch and Gobble's going to take off. That one's in the dirt. And Gobble's going to be safe at third base. Want to know the count here? First run of the game, the tying run for the Wildcats, standing 90 feet away. The 1-0. This is high and in for ball two. Short's definitely got a lot of speed. He can cause some havoc if he can reach base. Next pitch, slow roller. Gobble on his way home. There's going to be no play. The throw over to first will not be in time. An infield single, making an RBI for Caden Short. And the Wildcats have tied this one up at one. Just had to do enough to make contact, and the Wildcats have tied it up. So an RBI infield single. I believe that's the first of the season for Short. Now brings up Cutler Cope. Cope trying to get hot here in the final three weeks of the season. Decent lead by Short, and I'll check on him at first base, and the throw is not in time. Next pitch on the outside corner for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Hit high in the air. This might stay in play. Wit at first base, and that one's going to hit the net. Good effort to try to go get that, but that goes foul for strike two. And surely at first base, my apologies. What is in left field? I just they're back to back in the lineup, and I just looked at the wrong name. Check on short again. ZO2. This is high for ball one. A one, two. Sent up the middle. Short stop. Steps on second. Throws over the first in time, and that one will end the inning. A double play. Win things here in the bottom of the second. Wildcats tied it up at one as we go to the top of the third next on the Exports Network. Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. 
From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience in our family owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center, let our family take care of yours. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals. Owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, This is the X Sports Network. We go to the top of the third here from Tom Cruise Field, a 1-1 game between Richland and Lawrence County. Top of the order due up for the Raiders. Carter Edwards to lead things off. 0 for 1 with a strikeout, the lead off the game in the first inning. First pitch here from Andrew Kidd. This is high and in for ball one. Kidd through two innings, a run off two hits, a walk three strikeouts, now at 44 pitches. Here's a 1-1. 1-0, excuse me, breaking ball. That makes it 2 up. In the 2 up. Sent down the left field line. Schultz makes the play, throws over to first in time, and that will be the first out of the inning. Good job by Cole Schultz to stick with it. So we got one gone here in the top of the third inning. Brings up Jack Jackson. One of four freshmen in the lineup here for Richland. Jackson, who grounded out the short in his first at bat in the first inning. Facing off with Kidd for the second time. The first pitch. High and in for ball one. Here's the one up. Ground ball sent over to Caden Smith at second. Throw over to Gobble at first in time, and that's the second out of the inning. Pair of ground balls here in the top of the third. Brings up Colton Trimble here for the Raiders. Trimble hit a soft liner over to Smith in his first at bat then ended the top of the first. Trimble, a very good hitter, mainly up the middle. Does have a lot of pop to the opposite field. First pitch, a ground ball sent to the Lawrence County dugout for strike one. We'll say Clint Wright's uh, fielding percentage today is uh, at 1,000. Clint Wright, a former assistant coach at Richland. He came over from Richland when he took the Lawrence County job two years ago. Z01 in the dirt for ball one. Comes a 1-1. This is away for ball two. Here comes a 2-1 in the dirt for ball three. Hitters count here for Trimble. One of three seniors on the Raider roster, all three in the lineup today with Kincaid and Miller and Trimble. 3-1, this is low for ball four. Second walk issued by Kidd. So a two-out walk, bring up the cleanup hitter. One of the other three seniors and Bryce Miller. Miller with a single. 
eventually scored a run, first run, only run of the game for the Raiders in the second inning. First pitch from Kidd. Trimble takes off. The throw from Cope will not be in time. Pitch is in there for a strike. A stolen base for Trimble. Here's the 0-1. Foul back for strike two. Big lead by Trimble at second, the 0-2. Ground ball sent over the Smith here at second. Makes the play, throws over to first in time, and that one will end the inning. Raiders Stram one in the top of the third. It's a 1-1 game as we go to the bottom half of the inning next on the Exports Network. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. This is the X Sports Network. Back at Tom Cruise Field, we go to the bottom of the third. No, oh, excuse me, tied up at one here between Richland and Lawrence County. 9 1 2 do it for the Wildcats. Caden Smith, his first at bat here. He's getting the start at second base, getting a chance to hit as well. Brooks Bratton on for his third inning of work. He's given up a run off four hits. No walks, no strikeouts through 30 pitches. And pitch 31 is fouled back for strike one. Here's the 0-1. This is low for ball one. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss for strike two. One and two the count here, the nine-hole hitter for the Wildcats. Top of the order, Jack Emerson waiting on deck. The one, two. Just misses away to even up the count of two balls and two strikes. Home plate umpire has been very consistent behind the dish here. Two, two. Breaking ball, and the count goes full. Three balls and two strikes. Drake behind the plate. The freshman's done a very good job for them. Full count offering. This is low for ball four. It's a leadoff walk for the Wildcats. Smith battling back down one, two, draws the walk. First walk issued by Bratton brings up the top of the order in Jack Emerson. And line drive into the left center field gap for a leadoff single is eventually thrown out at second two pitches later. Third baseman again playing heels and toes on the grass. Tries to get Smith over at first, not in time.
Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball, and that one's going to get away from Drake. Smith on his way to second off the wild pitch. Now runner in scoring position here for Lawrence County. Emerson hitting three, 33 with runners in scoring position. And for RBI, number six on the year, here's a 1-0. This is high for ball two. Here's a two up. This is high and in for ball three. In the 3 0. In there for strike one. It's pitch number 40 there for Bratton. I'll pick off a tip at Smith, and that one gets away. And Smith is going to take off for third. There's going to be no throw as Smith is now 90 feet away for the Wildcats taking the lead. Very good job reading that one in the dirt and finds himself in scoring position. First air of the game from either side. A 3-1. This is high for ball four. Emerson on base for the second time in the game. Now brings up Alex Bedford. Singled in the center in his first at bat in the first inning. Tie for the team lead in RBIs. Hitting 341, probably better now. 341 coming into the game. Head coach Matthew Sakowitz making his way out to have a conversation with the sophomore pitcher. Other than the long hair, that is Dusty Kaiser's doppelganger if I've ever seen it. Love the big man. We miss the big fella. If Dusty shaved his head, that's what he would look like. And to Sackowitz, that's a compliment. And I'm, I'm hearing now Hale White was Dusty's first baseball coach. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, Hale? He had potential. He had potential. <laughs> <laughs> Sackowitz ends the meeting, heads back to the dugout. Oh, we got to explore this later. Indeed, Alex Bedford here. Runners on the corners. Info going to play in here for Richland. Runners on the corners. No outs on the bottom of the third. First pitch here to Bedford. Emerson's going to take off. No challenge. And the pitch is in the dirt for ball one. The one up in the dirt for ball two. A 2 0. -oh. Sitting in the center field, that's going to get down for a base hit. Smith is in. Emerson rounding third. He will hold up. And Alex Bedford with the 17th RBI of the season gives the Wildcats a 2-1 to -one lead. A pair, of our, a pair of singles, both of them. Up the middle for Alex Bedford. The Wildcats now lead a 2-1. to -one. 
and bring up Isaiah Bentley. Grounded out the third in his first to bat in the first inning. He's going to try to pick up an RBI as well. Runners on the corners, Emerson on third, Bedford on first, nobody out here in the bottom of the third. Wildcats with a two to one lead. First pitch, Bedford takes off. In there for strike one, no challenge. Bedford gets in safely. Oh, and won the count here to Bentley. Leading the team 579 coming into the game with the runners in scoring position. And Phil going to play in again for the Raiders. Next pitch from Bratton. Bentley fouls that one away for strike two. It's a little bit ahead of that one. Comes the 0-2. Ground ball. Just fouled down the left field line. Missed by a handful of inches. That would have been a automatic pair of RBIs for, ben for Bentley there. Just missed it. I went two still to count against Isaiah. Another 0-2. Misses away for ball one. And the one two. Ground ball here to third under King Cannon's glove. He won't throw home. Emerson is safe. So is Bindley. So Bindley now at the corners. And the Wildcats lead this one 3-1. to one. Now going to bring up True Kid, the right fielder. Kid who grounded out the second and into the bottom of the first inning. Drake now giving out the first and third signals. Do have some action down in the Richland bullpen. Runners on the corners again. Nobody out in the bottom of the third. Bentley takes off, first pitch. And they say Kim went around for strike one. Is Bentley safe at second? I don't know if he said he went around or said that was a strike. Either way, it's a no and one count. Infield playing in again here for the Raiders. In there for strike two. Kid choking up on the bat here a bit. The 0-2. Misses away for ball one. The 1-2. Misses him for ball two. I guess that's a makeup for the first pitch strike. So now we're even at two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Kid, ground ball here to Kincannon. Good play at third. His throw over to first is in time. No one advances. Runners stay where they are with one gone here in the bottom of the third inning. They bring up T.J. Gobble. Gobble. They double off the left center field ball in his first at bat and scored the first run of the game for the Wildcats in the bottom of the second. Okay, and now they're going to, going to intentionally walk him. That will load the bases. He brings up Cole Schultz. Schultz who grounded out controversially over to third in his first at bat in the second. A very close play at the bag. Orange County fans thought he was 
safe, but the field umpire had a different opinion. Bases loaded one out here in the bottom of the third. First pitch here from Bratton. And a breaking ball in there for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Taps that one back foul for strike two. And the 0-2. Schultz skies this one. And that will get out of play onto the football field. Keeping the count of no balls and two strikes. Bases loaded, one gone in the bottom of the third. The 0-2. Misses away for ball one. Now Drake will go out and have a conversation with the sophomore pitcher, Drake, a freshman. What Richland has done this year has been very impressive. The majority of their lineup with freshmen and sophomores and a couple seniors went be 14 and 6 through 20 games and 6 and 0 in the district. Wildcats, in a lot of ways, are fairly young as well. You, know, you got two seniors and a junior on the base paths right now. Next pitch here to Schultz. Swing and a miss for strike three. That's the second out of the inning. His first strike out of the game. Two gone here in the bottom of the third. Still with the bases loaded. Brings up Caden Short. An infield single with an RBI. And his first to bat in the second inning. Right on TJ Gobble. Infield going to play back now for the Raiders. First pitch here from Brett. This one is sent in the air. Shallow right field. And Richland's going to make the catch, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats take the lead in the bottom of the third. They lead it 3-1 to one as we go to the top of the fourth. That's next on the Exports Network. Here at Heritage Automotive, experience the difference. With our great sales department, service department, and parts department. Now offering up to $10,000 off on all Chevy and GMC model 1500s. And we have over 30 lenders with some of the best rates in the market. Hi, it's Tag with Heritage Automotive. We want you to know when it comes to your vehicle, you deserve help, not hassle. With our 30 plus years of experience of being your local dealership, we're here to serve you. So whether it's routine maintenance, mechanical repairs, collision repairs, we're here to help. So give us a call today to schedule your service. Heritage Automotive, expect more, experience the difference. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower, or your ATV, or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese & More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock, by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. Go to the top of the fourth, Lawrence County leading Richland 3-2-1. Jamison Andrews will lead things off here for the Raiders. We'll go for one with a strikeout in the second inning. First pitch is foul back for strike one. Andrew Kidd on for his fourth inning of work through three. A run off two hits, two walks, three strikeouts. Now 57 pitches. Comes the 0-1. Off the fist over to Kidd at second. Excuse me, Smith at second. He throws over the first in time. That's the first down of the inning. 
One gone here in the top of the fourth inning. Now going to bring up the first baseman in Will Shirley. RBI single on his first to bat in the second inning. On the line drive into left. Or center, excuse me. Here's a first pitch from Kitt. And that's going to be a line drive up the middle, and he's got a second base hit of the game. So the freshman coming on strong here for the Raiders. One on. One gone here in the top of the fourth inning. Third hit of the game for the Raiders. Now brings up Gage with the left fielder. Grounded out the third in his first at bat in the second inning. Facing Kidd for the second time. First pitch here from Kidd. And that one misses a hair high for ball one. And the one up. This one is sent into center field and back to back singles. So, Wynn and Shirley, the freshman, getting busy here for the Raiders. Back to back singles, two on, one out here in the top of the fourth. Brody, Brody Kincannon walked in his first to bat in the second inning. One of three seniors in the Raider lineup. Two on one out, runners on first and second. Wildcats trying to protect a 3-1 lead. Kid tries to get his runner at second's attention there in Shirley. Now, Sakowitz, head coach here for Richland, coming out to a conversation with the field umpire. Asking if Andrew balked there. Field umpire says he didn't, so we'll go back to play. First pitch here from Kidd. This is high for ball one. The one up. This is in for ball two. The 2-0 -oh. on the outside corner for strike one. Now a pickoff play, and that one's just out of the on the outside there. Jack Emerson makes the play. Keep that one from going in the center field. Right idea by the Wildcats. The 2-1. Swing and a miss for strike two. And the 2-2. Two -two. Send in the left field. And Alex Pepfer makes the catch. Here's the throw back to second. He is out, and that's a double play that's going to end the inning. A great job by Alex Bedford in things here on the top of the fourth. It's a 3-1. Wildcat leaves. We go to the bottom half of the inning next on the Exports Network. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf and this is Hustler Country. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. 
To save on fuel for work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Don't Google Don't just find Play. a job, find a career with Resource MFG. The team at Resource MFG in Lawrenceburg has the resources and experience to find you a full or part-time position right away. Now recruiting for open positions in Lawrence, Giles, and Murray counties. Whether you're entering the workforce for the first time or looking to take your career to the next level, let your journey begin with Resource MFG. Located at 300 Ellingson Street in Lawrenceburg, phone 931-570-2111 to jumpstart your career today. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244 Four six zero two. Go to the bottom of the fourth here. It's a three-one Wildcat lead over Richland. First pitch here by the new pitcher at Andrew Turner is fouled away by Cutler Cope. Cope zero for one with a double play in the second inning that he grounded into. Turner comes in for Brooks Braddon. Three innings, gave up three runs off five hits, two walks, a strikeout, and finished with sixty-one pitches. Next pitch from Turner misses away, evens up the count of one ball and one strike. Here's a 1 1. Misses away for ball two. Turner with a different delivery. Sidearm, pretty much. A 2 1. Ground ball here to short. Makes the play, throws over to first. That is in time for the first out of the inning. One gone here in the bottom of the fourth brings up Caden Smith. Smith, who walked in his first at bat, also scored a run in the third inning. Scored the go ahead and run here for the Wildcats so far. First pitch from Turner. This is away for ball one. We have some action in the Wildcat bullpen. It's a 1 0. Foul ball into the Lawrence County dugout for strike one. The 1-1. One, one. This is in for ball two. The 2-1. This is away for ball three. Hitters count now for Smith. And the 3-1. And that one almost hit him. Ball four. He works his second walk of the game. So one on, one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Brings up Jack Emerson's reach base safely twice. Single in the first, walked and scored a run in the third. Face off with Turner for the first time. Smith with a decent lead at first. First pitch here to Emerson. This is low for ball one. Next pitch. That one hits him. So a walk and a hit by pitch. 2-1-1 one, one out brings up Alex Bedford, 2-for-2 two two with a pair of singles and an RBI. Team leader in RBIs was 17. Both of them have been rockets up the middle.
First pitch. And that one's going to get away from Drake, and everyone's going to advance. Ball won the Bedford. Now runners on second and third. And Phil going to play in again here for the Raiders. Next pitch to Bedford. On the outside corner for strike one. The 1-1. One, one. This is high for ball two. It's a 2-1. This is away for ball three. Hitters count here for Bedford. Bedford is second on the team and walks with eight. And the 3-1. And that one's over his head for ball four. So the bases are loaded for the second straight inning here with one out in the bottom of the fourth. That brings up Isaiah Bentley. Bentley 0 for 2, ground out to third in the first and reached via an error on a ground ball to third in the third. Sakowitz, head coach here for Richland, making his way out to the mound again. And we might be making a pitching change here. See what happens. Andrews here warming up his arm real quickly oh, before a ball got away. Ball play umpire go out and break out the meeting. Turner will stay in the game for the time being. Facing Isaiah Bentley here, second on the team in RBIs and first with Batting average with runners in scoring position. It's him 579 coming into the game. So far, all three of his bats have been with somebody in scoring position. Does have a pair of grand slams so far this year. First pitch. And he was thinking about it as he lifts it foul down the left field line for strike one. Caden Porter for Loretto last year hit five grand slams, which ended up being a state record for a career and a season. Next pitch from Turner, and that's going to hit Bentley. And that is a bases loaded hit by a pitch, and the Wildcats now lead it 4-1. to one. Not exactly the way he drew up getting an RBI there, but runs down the first, and the Wildcats lead it 4-1. to one. Scores Smith, now brings up Truett Kidd, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of ground outs in the first and third. One the second, one the third. So corner infield going to play in. Middle infield, double play depth for the Raiders. First pitch. This is away for ball one. One up, in there for strike one. One and one the count here. Bases loaded, one out, bottom of the fourth. Wildcats leading at four to one. The one one, this is away for ball two. The 2-1, ground ball here to short. He makes a play, tosses over the second, the throw to first, will get away. That's going to bring home Bedford, and the Wildcats now lead this one 6-1. to one. So Kidd is safe at first there off the air. It's now a 6-1 to one lead. Two gone here in the bottom of the fourth.
Brings up T.J. Gobble. One for one, double off the left center field wall, scored a run the second, intentionally walked in the third. First pitch from Turner, misses away for ball one. Here's a one-up, misses away for ball two. Richland now with three errors in the game. 2-0. Swing and a miss. Big cut there from Gobble for strike one. It's a 2-1. This is high and in for ball three. 3-1 three and one the count here to Gobble. And the 3-1. Big cut for strike two. Count goes full, three balls and two strikes. One on two gone here in the bottom of the fourth. 6-1 Wildcat lead. The next pitch. This one sent in the right center field. That's going to fall in for a base hit. Kid on his way to third. And Gobble with the second end of the game as he reaches base safely for the third time this afternoon. Runners on the corners, two gone here in the bottom of the fourth. Sixth hit of the game here for Lawrence County. Bring up Cole Schultz, the third baseman, 0 for 2. Ground out in the strikeout in second and third. And Sakowitz, the head coach for Richland, will make his way out to the mound. And more than likely, well, that's not more than likely, we will have a pitching change here. So while that goes down, we will take a break on the Exports Network. At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6633. Are you tired of missing out on family life just to be treated like another truck number? Since 1986, Southeast Cares has been a family-operated business based in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Being family-owned ourselves, we understand the importance of family, which is why we value it above all else. With our large number of dedicated lanes and our friendly staff, we are able to evenly divide your home time with the amount of time you spend on the road. We offer multiple benefits with large company pay, all while keeping a small company environment. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Southern Craft Manufacturing is dedicated to creating the finest quality and greatest value products in the death care industry. Southern Craft has perfected blending old world craftsmanship with modern manufacturing technologies to create a full line of steel, wood, and corrugated caskets. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, Southern Craft is now looking to hire local and regional truck drivers, welders, and production workers, each with great starting pay and a benefits package. For more information, visit southerncraftmfg.com. For the best at-home care in Lawrence County, the Summit at Home is the right company for you. We have a friendly... Back here, Tom Cruise Field. Will Shirley will now be the new pitcher into the game for Richland. Bryce Miller will come from the designated hitter spot, and he will go to first base. Shirley will come in for Andrew Turner. Two and a third innings. Gave up three runs off a hit. Two walks, no strikeouts, through 28 pitches. Runners on the corners. Two gone here for Cole Schultz, who's 0 for 2. Ground out the third and the second, and a strikeout swinging in the third. First pitch here from the freshman. This one is sending the left field. Left fielder going back on it. Camps underneath that makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. The Wildcats get three in the bottom of the fourth. 
Lead it 6-1 to one as we go to the top of the fifth here next on the Exports Network. For the best at-home care in Lawrence County, the Summit at Home is the right company for you. We have a friendly staff over 25 that is trained, educated, and qualified to help with all your needs within your household. Our non-medical services include transportation, housework, dressing, and companionship. We are also covered by most long-term care providers. For more information, please call 931-762-2310. You know, Storing Lee Furniture is not just some huge chain store, but we do have a 144,000 square foot showroom right here in Leoma, Tennessee. The Story family has worked together in the business for over 50 years now, and a familiar face is here to help you with whatever you need. That's what being a part of the community right here in the Tennessee Valley means. And if you have an issue, we're right here to take care of it. And don't forget free delivery. We invite you to come see us. We're Storing Lee Furniture. Whether you're shopping in Lawrenceburg, Loretto, Summertown, or Mount Pleasant, Tegan's Food Stores has you covered with the best quality food at the best prices. From Cash Saver to Superama and CB Foods, stop by your neighborhood Tegan's Food Store today. This is the X Sports Network. Back at Tom Cruise Field, we go to the top of the fifth. Lawrence County leading Richland 6 2 1. Cam Drake to lead things off here for the Raiders. 0 for 1 with the strikeout in the second. Andrew Kidd on for his fifth inning of work through four. Run off four hits, pair of walks, trio of strikeouts. Now it's 66 pitches. First pitch misses for ball one. This is a line drive down the left field line. That misses foul for strike one. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That misses away for ball two. Two balls, one strike here. And the 2-1. Foul back here, and the count evens up at two balls and two strikes. Oh, we got four-way tie at the Masters. Hale White giving us our Masters update. Next pitch, a breaking ball on the inside corner for strike one. Strike three, excuse me, and that will be the first out in the inning. His fourth of the game brings us to the top of the order with Carter Edwards, who's 0 for 2. Strike out in the first, a ground out to third in the third. Edwards, a lone junior in the lineup here for the Raiders. First pitch here from this kid, misses high and in for ball one. Here's a one-up. That misses away for ball two. The 2-0. -oh. Misses in for ball three. Rare 3-0 -oh count. I think it might have been maybe the first or second we've seen so far. 3-0. Lined up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit by Edwards. Had the 3-0 green light, got a good piece of hitting, and we got one on. One out here in the top of the fifth inning. Fifth hit of the game for the Raiders. Bring up Jack Jackson. Another freshman in this Richland lineup. 0 for 2 with a pair of ground outs in the first and third. First pitch here from Kidd. This one is sitting in the center field. Runner took off. Bentley going to call everybody off. Good communication out there by the Wildcats as we got two gone here in the top of the fifth. Brings up Colton Trimble, one of three seniors in the lineup. And head coach Clem Wright going to come out and talk with Kidd. Two gone here in the top of the fifth. Trimble 0 for 1. 
Soft liner to Smith at second in the first and walked in the third. Now Caden Short, the designated hitter, warming up for the Wildcats in the bullpen. Kid right now at 76 pitches, not necessarily in pitch count danger by any shape of the imagination. Yeah, he's done pretty good. Outside of a rough patch there on the top of the second, he's been on his game. See, he checked on the runner there out of a timeout. First pitch, runner takes off. That's in there for strike one. The throw from Cope will not be in time as Edwards come away, comes away with the stolen base. Edwards got a great jump on that one. Runner in scoring position again here for the Raiders as they trail 6-1 to one in the top of the fifth with two outs. The 0 one Breaking ball misses high for ball one. Trimble will call time here. His kid had a long look at the signs from Cope. The 1-1. One, one. Ground ball sent over the Schultz at third. Bobbles it and no play. Now we got runners on the corners here. Still a two gone in the top of the fifth. First air of the game for the Wildcats. That's going to bring up Bryce Miller. Runner will take off Cope's throw. Not in time. They're going to cut him off. They're going to get him out and home. A great job by the Wildcat infield there on the attempted double steal, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats still lead 6-1 to one as we go to the bottom of the fifth. That's next here on the Exports Network. The Hidden Garden, located just off the square in downtown Lawrenceburg, is your hometown oasis for massage, aesthetics, full hair and nail services, and body waxing. Gift certificates are available, and be sure to follow them on Facebook for their specials. The Hidden Garden, your peace, your place. 222 Pulaski Street, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, or phone 931-762-9799. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of the Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come into our facility. We would love to see you here. If you want the best clean and wash experience, you need to catch the happy wave at Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Don't settle for streaks, dirt residue, water spots, and weak vacuums that you can get at just any car wash. At all our locations, you will be greeted by a smiling attendant who will pre-wash your car front and back to remove any stubborn bugs and dirt before guiding you through the tunnel, where your car will be treated to the ultimate spa treatment with state-of-the-art equipment and one-of-a-kind wash experience that will give your car a showroom shine. Afterwards, you can help yourself to our free powerful vacuums, cleaning cloths, and glass and surface cleaner for the perfect finishing touch. When it comes to caring for your car, don't settle for any wash and pay for all the extras. Get the best when you catch the happy wave at your local Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Back here at Tom Cruiseville in the bottom of the fifth. Wildcats leading 6-1 to one here over Richland. Caden Short to lead things off for the Wildcats. One for two. The infield RBI single in the second. First pitch here from Shirley. Misses away for ball one. Shirley came in in relief. 
with two outs in the bottom of the fourth and got an out off one pitch. Second one here to Short misses high for ball two. Short was warming in the bullpen in the previous inning. Good chance we might see him at some point in this game. Here's a 2-0. Check swing, but it was him there for a strike anyways, for strike one. Two and one the count here. The two one. Sitting in the right field. And the right fielder makes the catch for the first out of the inning. One gone here in the bottom of the fifth. Colton Trimble out and right, making that catch. Cutler Cope due up now, 0 for 2. A grounded into a double play to short in the second, grounded out the short in the fourth. First pitch here. There's a breaking ball in there for strike one. Here's the 0 1. This is low on a breaking ball. Slightly for ball one. Evens up the count of one ball and one strike. 1-1. One, one. In there, fastball for strike two. And the 1-2. It's a ground ball chopped. Shirley will make the play. Throws over to first in time for the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the bottom of the fifth. And it brings up Caden Smith. No official at bat so far in the game. Pair of walks and scored both times in the third and fourth. So he's facing off with Shirley for the first time. First pitch. Ground ball here to short. Throw over to first. And he's safe. They're saying that Miller, the first baseman, was off the back. And the red coach and Matt Sackowitz will go out and have a conversation. Bring up the top of the owner and Jack Emerson. Now they're going to have a conversation here at the home plate on Byron and see what he saw. And now they're going to say he's safe or out. What's what we what we got? Guess he's safe. Okay, play on. They say he's off the bag, so. Fourth air of the game here for Richland. Now brings up the top of the order in Jack Emerson. He's reached base in all three at-bats. Single in the first, walked, scored a run the third, hit by a pitch, scored a run the fourth. So on base percentage is skyrocketed in this game. They check on Smith. Speaking of on base percentage. First pitch from Shirley, and Emerson pops this one up on the infield. That one's going to fall in, throw to first. That one's not caught. Smith going to take off for third. Here's a throw. Won't be in time, and now we got runners on the corners with two outs. So back-to-back -back errors here by the Raiders. Five in the game. Now brings up Alex Bedford. Bet for two for two, a pair of singles in an RBI, and walked in the fourth. Scored in the fourth as well. I think they, nope, just a first and third signal. I thought they might intentionally walk him, but that would bring up Bentley. Big lead by Emerson at first. First pitch to Bedford. Breaking ball in there for strike one. Now 
And the 0-1. Breaking ball misses away for ball one. Runners on the corners, two outs. Wildcats trying to strike again. Scored in three straight innings, trying to make it four. And the 1-1. Big cut by Bedford, and he misses for strike two. The one two. This is away for ball two. No throw from Drake as Emerson takes off for second and he's in safely. Deuce is on the board. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. The two two. Breaking ball over Bedford's head. The count goes full with three balls and two strikes. Full count offering. Misses high for ball four, and Bedford reaches base for the fourth time in the game with the second walk. Brings up Isaiah Bentley, 0 for 2. The last at bat was hit by a pitch with the bases loaded and eventually and got the RBI. It's thrown out at second base in that inning. First pitch here from Shirley. Bedford, a ground ball here to short. Throw over to first. We'll be in time, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats will strand the bases loaded here in the bottom of the fifth. They go to the top of the sixth with a 6-1 lead next on the Exports Network. This is Jason at Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg. For over 90 years, Volco has been a family-owned company. We're proud of our past and excited about our future. We're open to the public for wholesale and retail trade. We carry product lines such as Milwaukee Tools, Lucas Oil, and Malco products. We carry all major brands of lubricants like Shell Rotella, Avalon, Castrol GTX, Mystic, Motorcraft, Valvoline, Kindle, and Mobile. We here at Volco offer a complete line of car detailing supplies, shop supplies, tire repair products, and lawnmower supplies. Check us out online at volcoautosupply.com or at 416 Buffalo Road here in Lawrenceburg. Truitt's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truitt's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truitt's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated business, Truitt's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truitt's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. Back here at Tom Cruise Field, we go to the top of the six. Lawrence County leading Richland 6-2-1. Bryce Miller to lead things off against the new pitcher and Caden Short and swings and misses at strike one. Andrew Kidd checks out after five innings, giving up a run off five hits, two walks, four strikeouts, and finished with 79 pitches. 0-1 from Short, misses low and away for ball one. And the 1-1. One -one. Sent back foul for strike two. And the one two. That one misses way high to even up the count at two balls and two strikes. Got 
Got double barrel action in the Lawrence County bullpen. Actually, just one in action. Next pitch sent high in the air in the left. Bedford, the camp underneath it, makes a catch, and that will be the first out of the inning. One gone here in the top of the sixth inning. Brings up Jamison Andrews, the second baseman. 0 for 2, strike out in the second, and grounded out two second in the fourth. First pitch from short. That one way inside. Almost hit him for ball one. Is the one up. This is just a tad high for ball two. A 2-0. This is away for ball three. A 3-0. And that misses away for ball four. First walk issued by short, third by Wildcat pitching. Bring up Will Shirley, the pitcher. He's two for two in the game, pair of singles. That's an RBI as well. Struck the ball well here, both times up the middle. First pitch, that misses high. The throw... Trying to get the runner at second, will not be in time. Another stolen base here by Raider base runners. Andrews on second. This is the one up. Ground ball. Cole Schultz makes the play at third, throws over to first. Gobble leads up, makes the catch. That will be the second out of the inning. Another amazing play at third base by Cole Schultz, and we have got two gone here in the top of the sixth inning. He is practically a human highlight reel over there at third. Always finds a way to get your attention defensively. Brings up Gage Welt, one for two with the single in his last at bat. First pitch in the dirt and blocked by Cutler Cope for ball one. The 1-0. Ground ball. Sent over the Schultz at third. Makes the play. Throws over to first. In time. And that one will end the inning. Raiders stray them one in the top of the six. It's a 6-1. to one. Lawrence County leads. We go to the bottom half of the inning here on the Exports Network. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. A moment in real estate with my dad, Jeff Lee. You know, I get asked a lot about what the market's going to do, how's the real estate market. I've been selling real estate for a long time, and nobody has a crystal ball. And you know what? When it's your time to buy or your time to sell, it really doesn't matter what the market's doing. It's your time, and you have to do something, maybe. What makes a difference is the agents and the experience that go to work for you. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, located here in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We can help. Hood Company, powered by Keller Williams, the number one name in real estate. This is the X Sports Network. 
And back here in Tom Cruise Fields, we go to the bottom of the six. Lawrence County leading Richland 6-2-1. Pitch enter into the game here for Lawrence County will be Casey Smith in for Truett Kid. Will Shirley through an inning in a third. No runs, no hits, a walk, no strikeouts through 18 pitches. First one to Smith. Ground ball down the left field line, but foul for strike one. Both sides trying to test that left, that third base line, and no one's come up successful so far. The 0 1 on the outside corner for strike two. The 0 2. Send in the left center field. That one's going to get down. That's going to roll. Two hops the wall. Takes a weird bounce. Smith on his way to second. And he will hold up there with the leadoff double. Second, an extra base hit here for the Wildcats in the game. And a pitch hit double. That brings up T.J. Gobble, the first baseman. Two for two. Doubled, scored a run in the second. Singled in the first. Was intentionally walked in the third. Smith struck that ball very well. Wildcats open. He starts to swing the bat. After a hot start to the season, cooled off a bit. But good, pretty decent swing right there. First pitch here from Shirley. Breaking ball misses high for ball one. And the 1 0. Fastball misses in for ball two. Two up. And Gobble swings, sends this one deep. This one's got a chance. It is gone. For the second time this season, TJ Gobble leaves the yard, and the Wildcats lead it eight to one. And no doubter off the bat from the senior, his second of the season in RBIs, five and six. Eight to one is the Wildcat lead. Now brings up Cole Schultz, 0 for three in the game. Ground down the first, strikeout in the third, and a flyout in the fourth. First pitch. This one sent in the center field. And a great effort there in center. And he's out. Incredible catch out there by the center fielder and Carter Edwards as we've got one gone in the bottom of the six. Brings up Caden Short, the new pitcher. One for three, an infield RBI single in the second. Well, Gavin Glass is now the pitch hitter here in the game. First pitch here from Shirley. In there for strike one. The Wildcats, who I believe only left the yard one time this last season. Next pitch swung on a miss for strike two. Have now hit 13 this year. ZO2. Ground ball hit foul, and the count will stay at no balls and two strikes. The 0-2, this is away for ball one. And the 1-2, this is away, evens up the count of two balls and two strikes. One gone here in the bottom of the sixth. Wildcats extending the lead after a T.J. Gobble, two-run homer to right, his second of the year. 2-2. Two, two. 
Breaking ball in the dirt for ball three. After going down 0 2, Glass has worked the uh, full count. Glass who's hitting the hair over the Mendoza line. Full count offering on the outside corner for strike three, and that's the second out of the inning. First strike out of the game for Shirley. Brings up Cutler Cope. Cope 0 for 3 with a trio of ground outs. First pitch here from Shirley. That one is sent in the right field. Trimble out and right makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. Lawrence County gets a two-run homer from T.J. Gobble to make it 8-1. Wildcats will try to close out in the top of the seventh. It's coming up next on the Exports Network. Efficiency. Reliability. Accuracy. Trust Title and Escrow of Lawrence County to provide exceptional title insurance services. Offering a wide range of title services across Tennessee, our team is unmatched. In fact, we're the most experienced closing team around. We get the job done on time, at a fair price, and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind. When you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the importance of the real estate community and strive to build strong relationships with all parties involved in the process. Whether you're buying a home, selling a business, acquiring land, or anything in between, you're in good hands with title and escrow of Lawrence County. Put the most experienced closing team on your side. Contact Title and Escrow of Lawrence County today. What really matters during the ball game, we're at that point in the season where some are just beginning, some have already ended, and others are at that point where it's either win or go home. Depending on what your perspective is, it changes everything, doesn't it? In 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 18, we're reminded we don't look at the things that are seen, but at the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporary, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Keep your focus, keep your perspective on the right things, the things of God, the eternal things. And that message brought to you by your friends at the Leoma Church of Christ. This is the X Sports Network. Wildcats try to close things out here on the top of the seventh inning, leading Richland 8 to 1. 8 9 1 do up for the Raiders. Brody Kincannon to lead things off. 0 for 1, walk in the second. And lined into a double play in the outfield in the fourth. Takes a first pitch high for ball one from Caden Short. It's Tucker Hammonds now at second base for the Wildcats. Next pitch misses in for ball two. Short trying to close things out. He's given up no hits, no runs, a walk. Now at 15 pitches. Here's a 2-0. This is high for ball three. Don't see any other defensive changes for the Wildcats here. Oh, Kaysen Smith is in right. That one misses high for ball four. His second four-pitch walk. Lead-off runner aboard. Going to bring up Cam Drake, the catcher. No, we got a pitch hitter into the game here. As Clint Wright will come out and have a talk here. This will be Tucker Mayo, the pitch hitter. So Mayo pitch hitting here. First pitch here from Short, and that's on the outside corner after the meeting with head coach Clint Wright for strike one. Now 
The 0-1. Swing and a miss for strike two. The 0-2. Swing and a miss for strike three. A pickoff attempt not in time. Shore gets his first strike out. So we got one gone here in the top of the seventh. Carter Edwards, the top of the order. And a nice catch and diving catch in center field in the previous inning. He's one for three with a single in his last at bat in the fifth. First pitch from short misses high and away for ball one. Edwards, a do everything athlete for the Raiders. Here's a 1 0. Misses low for ball two. A 2 0. On the outside corner for strike one. And the 2 1. This is away for ball three. Hitters count here for Edwards. Lone Jr. in the lineup for Richland in the game. Next pitch hit high in the air to deep left field. Benley's going back on it. That one's over his head. And that's just going to be a long single. The runner held up. Bentley made it look like he certainly was going to make a catch out there and Edwards puts a charge to it all the way to the wall and just for a long single. So two on, one out, runners on first and second. Number seven, Jack Jackson, the batter. Brings up Jack Jackson, one of four freshmen in the lineup. First pitch, that one's in there for strike one. Here's the 0 1. This is away for ball one. 1 and 1 the count. Here's a 1 1. This is high for ball two. And the 2 1. Lined up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit. Bimley struggles with that one. And the runner's going to hold still there at third base. And his own fans getting on his case there and just another single. So three straight hits here. Brings up Colton Trimble, the senior. The base is loaded, one out in the top of the seventh. Trimble, who's 0 for 2. Did walk in the third inning. First pitch here from short. Ground ball, hitter Emerson. Throws over to third. That is in time. Good job by Cole Schultz. A run will score. So we got two gone here in the top of the seventh. Now bring up Bryce Miller. Miller, who's one for three with a single and a run scored in the second. First pitch from short, and there for strike one. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss for strike two. The 0-2. This is high for ball one. The 1-2. Just misses low and away for ball two to even up the count. Deuce is on the board with two outs. The 2-2. Two -two. Lined. To a diving Jack Emerson who makes the catch, and that one will end the game. The Wildcats are going to improve to 11-9 on the season. 
with an 8-2 win over Richland. The Raiders will now drop to 14-7 overall. Our next broadcast will be coming up on Monday. Marshall County will visit here. Cats try to stay on a roll. Winners of two of their, actually three of their last four. So an 8-2 win here from Tom Cruise Field on Saturday afternoon as we wrap things up. Wishing you a great weekend here on the Exports Network. This 